Welcome to Totino Grace High School for Northwest Suburban Conference Boys Soccer, an early season matchup between a couple of teams that are doing pretty well so far, the Armstrong Falcons and the Host Eagles from Totino Grace. I am Jay Wilcox along with Sig Ligry, and Sig, kind of an ex exciting start for Armstrong here. They've already tripled their win total. A tough year last year, only one win. They've started off 3-1. and one. They have to be excited about the way things are going. Well, they are excited, and, and they're very enthusiastic because now they have a team that's actually winning games at the beginning of the season instead of getting it behind. So their skill level obviously has improved by the, by the players coming in. They've been working hard, and the reward is they're, they've got a winning season so far. Tatino Grace definitely will give them a good test. The Eagles are off to a 2-0 start. They had a good year last year. They return a lot of players. I think, uh, you know, they're, they're very optimistic about what they can do this season as well. Absolutely. They're going to be very good on defense. They can move around. they got good mid midfielders. They can, they can uh, look at the other defense and see what's going on. It's a very experienced team. They know each other from last year, and I think the combined, they are a very tough team. Armstrong's one loss was to a good Blaine team, and they lost that one by 4 nothing score. I think there's still a little bit of a wait-and-see thing with them, both internally in their own program, but also conference-wide. Okay, they've gotten off to a good start, but most of those were non-conference games. You know, night in, night out, this is a very difficult conference, and I think it's a great test for Armstrong on the road, too. Absolutely, and we're talking with the coaching staff before. The big concern, not a concern, the big reality is that you've got teams like Hopkins, YZ, and, and some others that are way up there in the, in the caliber, and they're in your conference. So when you get to the end of the season, at, or the conference season, you don't want to be seated low, because guess who you're going to have to play? Somebody that's much, much better than you are. But they still want to maintain their, their poise. They want to get as many wins as possible, put themselves in a good position for the sections. So they have, the both teams have the same goal. They want to be mid to upper in the conference level so they can get a good section seating. Let's talk about key players to keep an eye on in tonight's game. Obviously, the midfield's always very important, so we've picked a couple of midfielders and captains to talk about. Starting with the visiting Falcons, Michael Orell so far. He's uh, been able to contribute with four assists so far for their team, and it's a, you know, a good thing when you're able to set somebody up there. We've talked about needing to finish a little better, but he's been a guy who's been able to get him in position to do so. Right, that's one of the key positions to play as a midfielder, and he's a center mid. Uh, with zero goals but four assists, that tells you that he does distribute the ball, he knows what the defense is going to give him, and he knows how to take advantage of it. So that makes him a very dangerous person for the, for the defenders because he knows what's going on. And for Totino Grace, they've really got three very experienced midfielders who play together well. One of those guys that we're going to talk about, Colin Matzel, he's had a good start to the season, and uh, Coach Vance had a lot of good words about him as far as how hard he's worked to be ready for his senior season. Absolutely. So he came in the, into uh, the, the first training camp or the first uh, scrimmage, enthusiastic, fired up, and eager to play. He's got two goals and two assists. He's also very good at seeing what the defense gives him. Good speed, good passing. That'll give Armstrong something to think about on their defense. All right, opening day of school for a lot of the teams around in area, or kids around in the Robbinsville schools, I know, starting school today. And now uh, the soccer season really takes off here as we near the middle part of September. It's Armstrong and Totino Grace, the boys game first, and later on the girls coming up on CCX Sports. What makes your community feel like home? Is it knowing what's happening in your neighborhood or when people know your name? Connections make us a community. For more than 30 years, Northwest Community Television has connected citizens, neighbors, even sports fans through video. As life gets busier than ever, we will still offer you a connected community experience through CCX Media so you can stay connected to the place you call home.
Yeah, welcome back here to Jim Totino Field. Definitely cool, a little breezy, and we're hoping uh, to avoid some rain here today. It doesn't uh, look like it'll be too much of a problem as these teams get set to do battle here on the grass surface at Totino Grace. Armstrong, of course, normally plays their home games on uh, turf, so had a little bit of a mixture, as we said the other night, within the conference, uh, some, some of each, I guess, as uh, both teams are uh, getting used to... Uh, having to play on both surfaces. It's still pretty good shape at, the, at this point in the f season as well, the field, so. Yeah, we were just down there. The field's in uh, great condition. Eagles last year were nine and four in the Northwest Suburban and uh, third place. And they already beat, you know, uh, one of the other teams that was right up there in, in that same spot with them a year ago, uh, Anoka, in their opener this year. So they've been tested. Only had two games, though, and, and Bill Vance, the Eagles coach, kind of said that was by design a little bit. He doesn't like to front load the schedule completely and play a bunch of games early. He'd rather find out a little bit of what he has rather than uh, just throw them all into games right away. Right, that make, then that makes sense, and it's, it's uh, turning out to be good for his team, 2-0 and to start. Both teams will start juniors in goal, although Armstrong has more experience with Bennett Scheib and uh, Philip Ronza, the goalkeeper for Tatino Grace as we get underway here. Armstrong is in red as they play it up the middle. James Ajamong had it, lost it there. Parker Yeager now sending it over to Liam Vance. Taken right back though by the Falcons. Obviously the ball will slower on grass and you have to get used to that. Played ahead now to Herbert Endele, who had a good year last year and is off to a very good start this year for the Eagles as well. Their top goal scorer, he will leave it now for Matthew Hagen. And then the pass slipping past Luke Lindsay and out of play. Good to see Luke Lindsay back on the field. We were reading up some notes from uh, Bill Vance last year. He suffered a skull fracture during a game and uh, had uh, some you know tense moments for his family in the hospital. And and had to have surgery, brain surgery, and uh, but uh, after about three months or so, he was back, you know, kind of easing his way back in with his club team, and and uh, definitely a key member, number ten for Grace of this uh, Eagles team. Going to get a foul call there against Armstrong's Garrett Hamlin, one of their captains, got more of the uh, calf than uh, than the ball there, and so a free kick coming up here for the Eagles to get another look at it. You see it, yeah. Clearly missed the ball on the second attempt. Now the Eagles with a good set play here. Armstrong keeper is trying to keep his defenders where he wants them. He wants to be able to see this ball as it comes over the wall. Bennett Scheib returning all-conference goalkeeper for Armstrong. And, you know, the it definitely was a tough season a year ago for them. It's obviously been a pretty good program over the years. And to, to drop off to one win is something they did not seen in a very long time. Here's a tough shot and Shy making the save as Luke Lindsay was aiming for the corner there and Scheib read it pretty well. That was not an easy chance. Long ball the other way here. Flicked high in the air by Xavier Savard who was battling a little bit of an injury but is uh, good to go. We get a foul call here against the Eagles so now Armstrong looking to put a little pressure on. Michael Orell will line it up for a free kick here at this end of the field. So he runs that keeper. Tried to get over to the left side and missed everybody. And it's going to be a, was it touched? It's going to be nope, a goal kick. kick. Yeah. Remember when uh, Totino Grace was getting ready to come into the Northwest Suburban Conference, they'd obviously done very well in the North Suburban and there was I think there was a little bit of a feeling among the other conference coaches, you know, the, well, let's see what they do against the big boys kind of yeah. thing. And they've obviously stepped in and been been uh, very solid. And maybe it doesn't mean you win the conference every year like they had a chance to do in the North Suburban. But I think overall it's been a good development for their program. <laughs> Up the line, nice move by Eric Krieger. Krieger slams on the brakes and will drop it back now. Liam Vance. Playing it to the outside and was tripped up there by Emil Safo or Dwayne, he goes by. So a free kick here for Grace. And fortunately for Armstrong, that was just outside the box. Yeah, that could have been a disaster. It was just about, what, took about a foot or so outside the box. A 
Vance and Lindsay as you get a look at the starters flashing through for Totino Grace. The Vance or Lindsay. The last time it was Luke Lindsay who took it. We'll see if he's going to do so again. Now touched over to the corner to Vance, trying to cross it with the left foot, and they had a nice set play, but just didn't quite connect with that last one. So it was deflected out of play and will be a corner kick, though, for Grace as Armstrong got a piece of that ball. Good and set play. Nice, nice forward pass, and then bringing it back and... Just uh, ricochet off the defender for a corner kick. Vance taking it here for the Eagles. Comes Whoa. out high with it. They still have possession. And then Lindsay got underneath that one too much and drives it way over the top. And we will get a goal kick here for Armstrong. So pretty good start on their home field for Grace here. They had one you know, pretty good chance off that free kick. But they've, they've pretty much controlled the play. Obviously, we haven't played a ton of minutes yet here. Just approaching five minutes. You can look at the... Starters for Cameron Opal and the Armstrong Falcons here. Savard, nice reach to get to that one. They'll have to play it back now. Jack Bettel. Grace a little bit inexperienced in the back. They've got a lot of their midfield and, and some uh, returning players up front. It's in the back where they're less experienced. Yeah, and that's one of the things they're going to work, be working on. Falcons gaining control here, played over to Cole Harms and sends it back to Scheib. Then knocked away, Scheib's gonna have to hurry to get back to his goal. But a solid job there by Hanlon to keep possession. Then knocked away, Armstrong kinda panicking a little bit briefly there and sending it out now wide. Vance will pick it up. Vance gets a step, crosses that one, just a little behind, still a good chance. Oh, Owen lifted over the top, Colin Matzel got to it. The initial pass didn't quite connect, but he was in a great spot to get that ball and then just shot it too high. Again, a nice cross. Here's a shot. And as before, just get un gets underneath the ball, sails it right over the top of the keeper. Has to make Armstrong uh, coaches a little bit nervous, though, how, yes. how close in the ball was able to get a couple of occasions here. Well, that, that's twice where Vance has made a beautiful cross and got it right in front of the goal area. Yeah, if you're if you're the Eagles, I think you're saying, you know what, if we can keep doing that, we're going to probably get a couple yeah. in somewhere along the way. Yeah, if you keep doing that, good things will happen. Good aggressive play on the part of the Tino Grace so far. Timothy Wacker with the throw in there for the Falcons. Here's Ajamang controlling, sending it up. Opportunity, but not much on that left-footed shot there. The young freshman, Joseph Fineboy for Armstrong. They're uh, only freshmen in their lineup. That would be pretty good to make, you know, at a school of that size in, uh, in the Northwest Suburban Conference. If you're out there regularly as a ninth grader, you've got uh, some skill. Vance again, trying to get past the midline. Try to come back up that way, taken briefly, but then Jaeger gets it right back. Parker Jaeger doing a nice job shielding the ball there, then dropping a pass off. And that one broken up, but still the Eagles come forward again as Jaeger got it back. Jaeger trying to get a crossaway and does with the left foot, bounces around in front. And it will be a goal kick here ultimately for Armstrong. But again, the Eagles yep. have shown the ability to, to get space for a, a nice cross. You can see they've been, they've been winning the ball in midfield and then able to advance the ball and then some good crosses. Another throw in farther up the sideline here. Matthew Hagen will take it here for Totino Grace. No score on the board. We've played a little over eight minutes. Grace in white has had the better of it for sure. Generating some chances in the Armstrong zone. And this one rolled through. Shy will come out and grab it up. Armstrong. So far, I have not had a shot 
to be saved. But they have to be worried of what uh, Tutuni Grace is doing on offense. Bounces around back and forth. It'll be a throw for the Eagles. Booted right back out of there and then sent out of play by Totino Grace's John O'Day. Nice job to win that ball by Eric Krieger for the Eagles. And then in turn, Hamlin did so for Armstrong, and here they come. Joseph Feinboy cutting it back to the middle. Lost possession there taken by Jaeger. Vance will leave it for Matzel. Almost had that one taken, and then stepping in to pound it upfield was Vettel. Sent ahead. And Endele couldn't quite get to that one. Endele definitely a guy to watch, though, as we said, for Grace. Now back the other direction, Armstrong. Francesc Luke Armengol from Barcelona, Spain, an exchange student there wearing number six. He goes by Sess. And uh, Falcons getting some passing to click there a little bit. Pass drop back. And shot attempt by Sess there was off a defender. It will be a corner here for the Falcons as... Abel Vodo will uh, line it up here for Armstrong. Vodo trying to generate some offense here for the Falcons. Putting it out front, header was by Hagen. Loose and then the back pass. They weren't quite on the same page there. Vance racing up the sideline in a big collision. Call will go against Armstrong's Cole Harms. Vance was trying to get around him. They got a little locked up. And that's the second time you've seen Vance draw the, uh, the foul. Very aggressive, good to move in the ball. Flicked ahead by Ajumong. Defenders are there. Grace has certainly had the better of it in the midfield. You can yes. just see that they're, in general, able to win balls back relatively quickly and get things going with a quick pass in, the, in their favor, in their direction. Dropped over to Arrell there for Armstrong, trying to go long with that one. Sabard stepped up to meet it. And then Vance knocked it away from Arrell. It'll be a throw actually off Armstrong, though, so Throw for Grace. Battle for it up the sideline. Going to be knocked out of play by Safo there. Back out to the corner. Krieger playing it right along that line. He didn't like the angle for a cross and instead tried to step hard to the goal and along the goal line there, but lost it. So a goal kick here for Armstrong. Shaib booting it to about midfield here for the Falcons. And good hustle there by Fineboy. Kept it in. But then it'll be Grace's throw. Down to the corner looking for Vance. Vance getting a step, putting it out front, and headed back and forth. Shaib trying to control it and now does. Another. Scary moment there for the Armstrong defense as Vance seems to be able to come down that near side and get that cross. Somebody's going to have to mark up in either in front of him or somehow keep him from taking that shot. Yeah, he's been able to really get his shoulder squared, kind of yeah. turn the corner on them right. much, you know, much easier than Armstrong would like. That's what I'm saying. Somebody needs to mark him up before he makes that turn or get in front of him when he tries to make that pass. And I think sometimes you almost have to, uh, you know, kind of acknowledge that, okay, I'm beat a little bit and, and you know, cut it off at an angle, exactly. race back, give ground a little bit instead of trying to yeah. just catch him up directly. That's exactly what you got to do. Throw in here for the Falcons. The good news for them is, you know, still 0-0 on the scoreboard. They haven't had a particularly good start to this one, but... It isn't as though they're getting completely peppered or anything, so they're you know they're still very much in it. You 
Try and generate a chance back their way here. It's fine boy, the freshman. Almost a handball there. Taken away from Ajumong there by Jaeger, and now Vance will return it to Jaeger. Nice, nice forward. Good step in there by Here. Safo, but then guess who? Vance back to get it again. Oh, couldn't get much on that one. He kind of, I think he stubbed his, his toe on the turf when he did, because he was kind of grimacing after he kicked it. Udo dropping it back there. And Arms sending it long. Ajumong, only one there. Armstrong has really had to play a lot of long balls to try and advance the ball up the field. And obviously it, you know, it can work, but it isn't really probably what you ideally want to do. Nice step in there by Matzel to knock that one away. And here come the Eagles with Endele. Endele trying to step around the defender and then was bumped, but legally so, they say, yep. as Safo got it shoulder to shoulder. It was close, but they didn't call it. Boy, and the it, Eagles doing such a good job of possessing the ball. Endele looking for space here. Pass was blocked. Now bounces back down, and it's going to be a corner here for Grace. All the little bounces have gone their way, too, and I think it's largely because, you know, they're they're creating their own luck, yeah. I guess you'd say. Endele will take it. Putting it out front, deflected in, and Totino Grace will strike first. as getting the goal will be Hagen for the Eagles. And they will strike first. Endele putting it out front and just a little redirect by Hagen. It went over the first player that was trying to make contact with the header and then it's just a little. Yeah, that's the ultimate set play and on the corner. You get that ball low like that was and coming in hot. One redirect is all you need. Endele will get the assist as Hagen able to score it here for Totino Grace. Be his first goal of the year. Coming in the 16th minute, so one nothing lead for Grace. Ooh, look like he drew goals. another one. They're yeah. good at drawing fouls, aren't they? Michael Orell, I think, thought he had a clean takeaway there. A referee did not see it that way, so Grace will get a free kick. Uh, we've got a stoppage. Yeah. I think somebody may have said something a little bit too much. Yeah, we're going to have a yellow card issued to Armstrong, and let's see, it looks right. like it'll be... Number six? Yeah, Sess, as they call him. Maybe cut him some slack here. He's, he's an exchange student, maybe not, you know. <laughs> well, no, I mean, just in different spots in the country, in different spots in the world, you can maybe get away with saying a little more or whatever. I'm not, I'm, you know, not too sure, but that's what they're explaining right now to uh, Cameron Opal, the Falcons head coach. So it was, I think, something he said. Yeah, usually something you say gets you in a lot more trouble than hitting somebody or you know, tripping somebody. Nolan Fry subbing in here for Armstrong. Vance sailing that one up over the top as he came with the left foot, so be a goal kick here for Armstrong. Senior number nine, Matt Hagen, with the assist to number five, Herbert Endele. So the pressure from Totino Grace finally paying off in yep. that goal by Matt Hagen as, uh, you know, they had definitely generated more chances by far than Armstrong in this first half and getting one to go. Here come the Eagles again with Krieger. Boy, nice, right. nice forward passing. Look at the end of the hooks it. 
and it'll be cleared out of play. And, and I do say, you know, we talked briefly before about the surface. It feels like Grace is much more comfortable on this grass than what Armstrong looks right now, too. You're seeing Armstrong, some of the, the passes don't have enough on them because the ball rolls much slower right. on the grass than, than turf. Not an excuse for Armstrong because, obviously, like we said, you've got to be ready to play on both. You're going to see a lot of fields around the Twin Cities and around the Northwest Urban Conference that are grass, and you're going to see a lot of them that are turf. So you you better be ready for both. Yes, you do. And I think the passing also has been very crisp uh, and, and, and accurate. They've got, you know, they see somebody going up a passing lane and they fill it. And they, and they do it on the fly, which is really impressive. Yeah, the Eagles seem to play together well and know where each other's going to be, you know, kind of as they're getting the ball rather than after Wait. two or three touches. Right, after the, gee, are, are you maybe going to be there? Throw in coming up the line here, Stevenson Lamar, who's a player that's uh, coming back off injury, but they really like him, like his potential. Vance throwing it in, and they tried to go back to Lamar. Matzel did. They were pleading their case that it was touched by Armstrong, and they were right. It was a uh, that little touch pass was interrupted by a. Uh, Armstrong foot there and so it will be Vance getting another corner kick here for Totino Grace and obviously they scored off one uh, from the other side of the field with Endelay taking the corner and now Vance who's got a good left foot putting it out front swatted by Scheib they'll come right back to Vance Vance with a nice move trying to put it out front that one was blocked Falcons unable to clear it completely though and now we'll get a push called Breaking against Tino Grace's Luke Lindsay. And he realized it right away and kind of acknowledged that it was a foul on him. Shy mishits this one and past oh. the Tino Grace bench. So kind of an unforced giveaway there. And Eagles <laughs> will get a throw. Knocked away from Lamar there and lifted up field, but that's Armstrong has, you know, been forced to kind of almost bypass the midfield and try to just send the ball long, and it's rarely worked. It's been paying off. It's, like we said, oh, there's a little, that time Armstrong defender got in there and poked the ball away. Sun popping out full now. <laughs> the field looks a lot different than did a couple moments ago as we had some fairly dark clouds and Briefly, the sun completely coming out. Vance lifting it ahead, knocked down there by Safo. And then Ajamong flicking that one ahead. Eagles quickly send it right back the other way though, Lamar. Endele trying to win this ball and he does. Here comes Endele. Banking it off an Armstrong player for a corner kick. He could see he was out of room and took the best option available, which was just to bang it off of Hanlon. Right, but you see that time it was different. They, they double teamed uh, Endley on the, on the left side here. And they had a second and layer of defense. Second layer, yeah. Somebody came in there and filled that gap. Makes a difference. And you, can't, you can't afford to give up these crosses all, all day long. Nice pat. Out front and a good header by Armstrong's Abdullahi Adam there. Now a sent serve back in again, and the Eagles will intercept again. Here's Endele, though. Got a little over eager there and missed the net badly on that one. And a goal kick coming for Armstrong as Sue Laura coming in for the Falcons. That's a good look at Endele, number five. Got the assist on that corner earlier. Has a tremendous amount of speed and ball handling skills at the same time. Makes him very dangerous. And then he got Vance on this side, so it could be. Good movement. Yeager sending it over now to Lindsay, but knocked away. Eagles quickly get it back, though. Every time you see a takeaway for Armstrong, it feels like it's almost immediately taken, taken right back. back right. Yeah, they get control and then they lose the 50-50. 
Nice deep throw into the shooting area. Armstrong coming out with it. Ajumong's pass up the middle though. O'Day took that one. Wacker controlling here for the Falcons. Gonna play it back to his keeper. A little <laughs> dangerous there. Well, all of a sudden Lamar just took off and put a little, little pressure on the keeper to move faster. To the outside here, Matzel. Crossing it there, knocked down. He almost got it back, but instead Arell comes away with it for the Falcons. Now Ajumon to the outside. They weren't quite on the same page. Nice job to win it back though by Adam. One of the better sequences of passing here for Armstrong as they've been able to connect on three or four in a row here, but then a takeaway near midfield. And just out of play, it went there as uh, Matzel tried to keep that one in. It just rolled over the touchline, so a throw for Armstrong. They were hoping that that whistle was going to sound because yeah. they, uh, <laughs> they were off they were, running. Yeah, they were going to be giving up a chance uh, otherwise, but it, it was it was a good call. He just the center referee just didn't immediately see that the flag had gone up. And that one missed hit a little bit. We will get a throw here for Totino Grace as Liam Vance will drop it over now and allow Xavier Savard, sophomore, to take this throw. Lamar protecting it, dropping it off, and then the next pass. Tried to get it to Vance there. Saji Fernandez was looking one pass ahead, and they just didn't quite have the timing, but a good idea. Yeah, you may see that play later. Hernandez dropping it off here. Onto the foot now of Lamar, and he returns it to Luke Lindsay. Lindsay looking for Lamar, and a bicycle kick there. Got it on goal, not a lot on it, but uh, a nice uh, showcase of what he's uh, you know capable of. So we'll give, we'll give him a shot on goal on that one. Ajaman controlling it here for Armstrong, trying to play it direct there, looking for Adam, but, and that ball came out of play. We will get a throw for Armstrong as Fudo will bring it in. Actually, he will not. He will hand it over to Lohr. Ball hasn't been in this end of the field all that much, and Sometimes that can be a little scary for the keeper to, you know, basically have not been involved in the game at all and then maybe face a good shot. At least for the moment, Ronza hasn't had to see that happen though. And it will be a turnover here. Give it to Totino Grace. Falcons controlling it briefly, then knocked away, and we will get a throw here going the Eagles' way. Battle in the air. Arell got a piece of that one, then a the little back pass. Falcons will again win it back. Good offensive series here for the Falcons. That one hurt. Had an Armstrong player down as he made that pass, uh, Nathan Humphrey. And Ajaman controlling, and now we are gonna get it stopped, and Humphrey, you could hear him yell from up here as he went down, and the uh, the Grace player, Matzel, realized right away that, you know, I, oh, he stepped on his ankle. That one had to hurt. You could see that he was, and the, and the referee sees it, but he's got to watch, you know, what what's happening with the play, and before he can make sure that, that that's a call that you know that he needs to whistle Back it the down. Game for the Falcons, number six, Francis Armengo. So he's coming off on his on his own, but he's hobbling pretty good. So we'll keep an eye on him on the bench, and hopefully he'll be back in the game. Obviously, the you know just the getting stepped on part hurts, but I think it probably it looked like it made his ankle turn too, and those are the kind that sometimes really can swell up in a hurry on you. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. 
That's all getting out to gain control over to Hagen, who has the only goal of the game here for Grace. And it'll be a throw here for Totino Grace again up the sideline. I don't know that they've dominated quite as much here in the last, you know, five, six minutes, but overall they've certainly had the best of this first half. And in some ways you could say they probably could be or should be up by more than one. No, I can't argue with that. You're right. Trying to get it into Endele. Endele, oh, a great play to get control, but then taken right back. Looked like he was just about ready to line it up and pull the trigger, and I think it was uh, Sess, number six, who took it away. It's going to roll all the way back to the keeper, and the Eagles will quickly get back on the attack. Lindsay and Matzel trying to work it back and forth, taken away there by Sess, and then they battle and they get it right back. Tino Grace has a little more size at some of these positions too, which is helping out. Here's the return, Lamar trying to bring it to the middle to line it up for a shot. And that one was blocked, and a follow-up try is saved by Scheib. Everybody kind of slowed down when the first attempt was denied, and then Vance came in. He didn't get as much on it as he would like, but he still got a shot on. And there's a step in by Endelay to intercept it. Endelay walking in, he shoots, he scores! What a great effort. He, he saw a chance to pick that pass off and took advantage, and it's 2-0 Eagles. Boy, just picked the pocket of the defender right here, and then chases after it, takes a shot just inside the far post. What a beautiful move. Look at this. Pokes the ball up, gets, gets past the defender, catches the keeper on the near side, and hits it into the far side. Already his fourth goal of the season here, and a 2-0 lead for Totino Grace. Hajiman trying to play it out wide to himself here for Armstrong. And hammered on out of there. Played long looking for Lamar here. Tried to drag that ball away from Safo. And now they'll play it back to Shive, the keeper. Scoring to Eagles. Okay, uh, throw in here for Totino Grace. Hanlon. Sending it ahead. Nice job to shield it there by Vodo for Armstrong. Here's Arell on the move. They'll have to regroup and then it's intercepted by Vance. And here comes Endele now for Totino Grace. Endele stepping to the middle. Oh, tried to dish that one through. Lamar would have been in free. Lamar still dangerous with it though. Pass bounces around and it will be a goal kick here for Armstrong. Really good idea by Endele, yep. and it just a defender got a foot on it at the last second, or that one probably was going to be, a, at the very least, a great chance and maybe a goal. It's going to be a good opportunity. Quality shot. here for Lore for the Falcons. Out of play, we'll get another throw. Almost an illegal throw there. Sass able to control that ball nicely here for Armstrong. And not for long though, just as I say that, Luke Lindsay picked his pocket and here come the Eagles. 
they got a three on three if they can maintain the possession. But Hanlon stepped up at just the right time there, at least to interrupt the flow of that rush. Endele giving it back. Lindsay playing it ahead to Endele here. Circles around this ball to get room for a cross and broken up just before it could get to Stevenson Lamar. And now a counterattack here from Armstrong, but not for long. Lindsay knocked it away. Lohr has to play it out as Vance was all over him. Throw in here for Liam Vance for Totino Grace. They already lead it two to nothing. They've played an excellent first half. Endele coming up with it. Another double teaming him. Dropping that pass off. A shot attempt was denied there by Arell. Wacker getting to it for Armstrong. Here is a attempt by Lindsay putting it right out front and Shai be able to win it before Lamar could get up and get a piece of it. And that one's gonna go all the way out of play though. A throw coming for Totino Grace. Both teams will be making substitutions here as uh, Jaeger back for Grace. Joseph Fineboy back onto the field here for Armstrong. And delay. Switching fields here now over to Vance. Vance looking out front for Lamar. That one was broken up nicely though by Safo. A lot of traffic around as the Falcons tried to clear that ball. Grace won it back now. It comes over to Vance. Vance spinning away. Got the pass off there to Jaeger. And then Vance getting into position to get it back. Vance beating one defender, getting out wide again here. Puts the cross, but Safo broke it up, but he turns and gives it away as he slipped. End delay. That one blocked. Lofted out front again. It bounces around a little bit. Hanlon had to be sure with that one and just got it out of play. Endelay hit that one a little harder than he wanted, so O'Day has to retreat to get it. I'll have to uh, come back and re reload. Endelay dropping that pass back. Jaeger had to get out in front of him too far. He gets it back, though. Vance playing it ahead. Here's Lamar in pretty close here. Lamar will shoot it, and he lifts it over the top. He looked up, he realized where he was and, and took his time, but just got a little bit underneath that ball. I think it was the right move, though, to shoot this ball from this spot. Yeah, he was being pinned in, and that was his only shot. There was nobody else on his right side to help him out. And he got under just a little bit more than he wanted. Interesting, it was Armstrong, Coach Cameron Opel, I was talking to us before the game about how they'd been working on, you know, not shooting the ball at hand height for the goalie, right. know, putting the ball lower and just making it more difficult on some of their, you know, being, working to get him off balance, maybe get him going the wrong way a little bit and everything. But that's, you know, obviously that's easier said than done in the flow of a game too. Yeah. You don't, I mean, you, oh, you feel like you have less time than you maybe really do sometimes. Right, and over the years, how many, how many times have we seen that where somebody hit, has a shot coming up on goal and gets underneath it and skies it? And we've seen some that have been skied 20 feet in the air. Nice move here again. Savard dropping it over. And good huh. job, though, to win that one by Humphrey, who is back in there. I'm sorry, not Humphrey. That was uh, Sess, number six. Humphrey is on the bench with an ice bag on his ankle. I briefly had him back on the field when he really wasn't there. Knocked away. It'll be a throw for Armstrong as they the sub in with Orell. Michael Orell. And back into the Eagles, number 10, Luke Lindsay. And Luke Lindsay, his counterpart, number 10, back in for Totino Grace. Played out wide here, and the race is on up the left side. Trying to draw a corner. Instead, they play it back. 
put out front, and that one knocked down. I think Armstrong was offside anyway on this one. <laughs> he tried to redirect. Play to the whistle. So goal kick coming up here for Totino Grace. One of the few times that Armstrong's you know been in a position where it looked like they might get a clean quality shot. As it turned out, it didn't happen anyway. But Endele turns and gets it going now onto the foot of Lamar. Leaving it out left side for Lindsay. Lindsay's pass was knocked down. I don't think he saw the defender coming. Fine boy caught up to him. Arell with a strong header. Ajumang. We haven't seen him. He's a very skilled player. I haven't been able to really get him on track or anybody on their offensive side. But Well, that's because they've been on the defensive side too much. Yeah, just haven't been able to possess much. Ajumang getting that pass through, and they this time get some things going a little bit anyway. Try from the outside, bring something in. Battle for it, ooh, nice ooh. job there by Savard, able to out physical him for that ball. Lore gets control, looking for Aurel. Oh, and they are battling for it. Arell had a jab free by Vance. It will be a throw here for Armstrong, approaching two and a half minutes to go in the first half. It's been mostly Totino Grace. They lead it two to nothing and have really controlled the play. Takeaway there. Lamar coming back nicely to meet it, looking for Endele as that sun comes out full force again. Endele who has the second goal for Grace this evening. Stepping to the middle right at the top of the box there. And then Arell briefly had it. And he will get it back. And he's just going to send it long. The race is on. Stepping to the outside with it was Vettel. Ooh, and then a collision there as Fineboy knocked over toward the Grace bench. And it's a foul on the Eagles. It'll be a free kick here for Armstrong. They've shown a little bit of signs of offensive life late in the half here. And a look at that collision. Oof. Ouch. Fine boy, the young freshman, as he kind of went up in the air and then got run over a little bit. And Vettel's a big boy. Francesc Luc Armengal, the Spanish exchange student. Getting ready to take this free kick here for Armstrong as we tick down toward a minute to go. They trail it 2 nothing, but boy, if they could get one late here, it would really give them a spark into the second half. That would be big. And that one to the keeper, and Ronza hasn't touched the ball much at all in this first half, but he has a relatively routine catch there. That's the first save he's had to make. Looking it over at Willie's sheet. Adam Yazbek will check in number 17 here for the Eagles. And up the line, knocked out by Armstrong again. Another throw here coming for Totino Grace. They don't have to hurry, but they do need to be mindful of the clock a little bit here as we're down to a half minute to go. Well, they're usually attacked pretty quickly. Lamar trying to drop that pass back. Instead, it was to Vodou for... Armstrong, then it hits the referee. And we get a call going against the Eagles, so a free kick here for Armstrong as we wind down toward the half. And lift it into the center of everyone, and we will reach halftime here at Jim Totino Field at Totino Grace High School. In a Solid first half for the home team. The Eagles leading Armstrong by a score of two to nothing. We'll have first half highlights and more as you're watching boys soccer from the Northwest Suburban Conference on CCX Sports. Most of my family they never graduated high school or even let alone go to college, so I'm trying to break that barrier. Every day after work, went straight to school, studied hard, and, and it paid off. Yeah! 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 
I could not have done it alone. I see the future is really bright for me. The high school diploma is just added to the confidence, and now I feel unstoppable. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Leading Armstrong by a score of two to nothing here on CCX Sports at halftime of the boys' contest, and uh, I think the result is kind of a, a indicative of what the play was like. Tatino Grace dominating that first half as we check out some of the highlights from this one. And they kind of took control early on and really started to push for chances, and uh, you know, ultimately getting a couple of them to go in as well. This one an early free kick opportunity here. Scheib making a nice save on Luke Lindsay. And that one came pretty early in the game, kind of setting the tone a little bit. Get a cross away here and then a follow-up try lifted over the top by Colin Matzo. But again, Armstrong having to you know, get a little concerned about how close any chances were. Then here's the first goal, just really off the side of the body there of Matt Hagen as uh, it was put out front on the uh, corner by Herbert Endeley who gets that assist. And the Eagles took a 1-0 lead. Then Endeley on this time on his own just jumps in, pounces on it, takes it away, and then tucks it in the far side pass. Shy, great effort for him and already his fourth goal of the season. Made it a 2-0 score for Grace as you get a look at the stats. And the numbers really tell the tale of the first half. Falcons with two shots, one on goal, four fouls, and one corner kick. The Eagles with the 11 shots, four on goal, four fouls, and four corner kicks, and one of those corners was a payoff corner kick. So Armstrong battled back a little bit late in the first half. They'll have their work cut out, but uh, still plenty of time to go. 40 minutes left here as we get set for half number two. Northwest Suburban Boys Soccer on CCX Sports continues in just a moment. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes, but with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have pre-diabetes. Big time. We get set for half number two here. Cool and breezy early evening for this one. Tatino Grace leading 2 0. You can watch for the girls match between these two teams as well here on CCX Sports as Armstrong I think got a little bit more going, played a little bit better defensively later in that first half. They have to kind of hope that carries over because they were pretty much back on their heels for a good chunk of that first half. Yeah, they were very much on their on their on their heels, they got the uh, only shot on goal within the last two minutes of the first half. Had a, had a problem certainly with in their defensive zone, but also with turning the ball over. A lot of times when they would maybe make a decent play, they would uh, you know look to move the ball upfield, and it would almost immediately be picked off. Yeah, their ball control was was in trouble. Starting a little bit more simple, shorter passes. There may be a rel now sending it up the right side. Chip to the middle, a little behind Nolan Fry though, and coming back to get it there was Adam Yazbek for the Eagles, but then quickly taken back here by Sass for Armstrong. And ran out of room though and was taken away. Cole Harms got it right back though. Francesc Luke. Armengal there had it for Armstrong again. They call him Sess. And then intercepted again and right back the other way with the header. Lore racing up to get it for the Falcons. Arell chipping it ahead. Now early in the game especially, Grace was winning almost every 50-50 yep. ball. And we're seeing Armstrong get a little more aggressive and maybe anticipating plays a little bit better 
than what they were early on. They just they just were, uh, you know, a step slow to balls, a step slow deciding to go for balls, I think, too. Yeah, the, rea the reaction time was, wasn't all that well. Saw that foul call there going against Jack Vettel, so a free kick here for Armstrong. It's outside the penalty area. Putting it out front. Here's the header. Oh, and <laughs> just missed. We were talking earlier about how, you know, all it takes is one, and they could be kind of right back in this, and they almost got it there. Just going wide of the mark. Well-placed ball, and I don't know if that was a defender or Harms. I guess it must have been off Armstrong. Uh, that was Harms. Yeah, Harms got most of it anyway, or he was the second to get a piece if, if the defender, in fact, might have touched it first. And it will roll out of play. A throw here for Armstrong. Arms has got some size. We talked about how overall Grace seemed to, you know, be big, have bigger guys at a lot of these, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one battles. Arms is a guy who is a good size for Armstrong. Play to the outside here. Lamar trying to chip it. It lands on top of the net. And a goal kick here for Armstrong. So Bennett Scheib had quite a bit of work in the first half. Made a couple nice saves, but uh, had a couple go in that, uh, you know, really didn't have a whole lot of chance. I no. wouldn't say on either one. Neither one, no. That that, uh, that side chop bouncing off the far post. No way he's going to get to that. Quick interception here by Yazbek. Now Harms coming back in to break it up for Armstrong, but Eagles win it right back. Yazbek stepping to the middle there. Oh, lost it, and then Hanlon chipping it into the air. See, Armstrong, I think, has made a... Here's a move to the outside. End delay, end delay, putting it in front. Rebound, try is in. Boy. Waiting in just the right spot was Matsoul. He didn't overrun it. And when Endele's pass was deflected by the defender, Matsoul was just right there and uh, calmly puts it away. See, that's what happens when you have those. If you give, give out the play in your own zone, it can be dangerous. Look at Endele's move here. Hanlon trying to break the pass up and did you know what he should do, get his foot on it. But following it up was number 11, Matsoul, to put it in. So three nothing lead now for Grace. That makes it a tough road now for Armstrong. Now they're battling back. Got something going here. So a throw in here for Armstrong. And unable to control it here. We'll get a throw the other way for Totino Grace. Played long ahead to Lamar. Two on two. Stevenson Lamar trying to get around the D. Laura coming back to help, but then they gave it up. Wow, they had two defenders on him. He still maintained, uh, maintained possession. Back toward Endele here, trying to step through defenders. I think Armstrong there got, you know, sometimes you you just have to really, you know, you, you want to control the ball, want to keep possession, but if you're in trouble, you need to get rid of it. And if it, that means clearing it out of play, then it, so be it. Exactly. Sometimes you're better off just poking. You poke the ball. You don't have to necessarily take it away. Just poke it and slow it down. Let the other defenders come in there and, and help you out. You can't afford to just hand it over to the offense. Scheib drilling that one up the sideline here. Now Endele able to keep it in right up that line. It's rolled out, though. It'll be a throw for Totino Grace as Endele did good work. I mean, he ultimately, he ended up losing the ball, but he worked it upfield enough to get the, the throw in. Yeah, keep the feet moving. Here's a shot from the outside. Or it was a pass. Yeah, Jaeger looked like, like he was coming weak side for Yazbek there, but they just couldn't connect. It'll be a throw here for Armstrong, but the Falcons trailed 2-0 at halftime and give up an early one here in the second half. 
Eagles looking for more as Lindsay steals it. Putting it for Yazbek, couldn't quite get it, but then the header toward goal and Scheib calls off his D and comes out and grabs it. He distributes to the right. And like you were saying, Jay, they just have trouble control, you know, keeping control of the ball. A little bit of rain falling now. We were saying earlier that, you know, it's kind of been back and forth. There was dark clouds and the sun popped out and now it is definitely raining here early in the second half. So it's not raining sunshine? No, no. No turn, no turn. Hey, Luke. Mike, 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 Mike. Took us a while to realize it because up here in our climate protected booth. <laughs> Couldn't tell it was easy, but now it has definitely started to come down harder. The referee ran over and grabbed a, a ball cap. That was the indicator to me that it was starting to rain a little bit. And now it's coming down harder yet. Back pass there, knocked away by Lindsay. Eagles come up with it again. Now played outside to Yazbek. Trying to get it back there to Matzel, but overrun. And bang far ahead by Jack Vettel. That one's going to come all the way out to Scheib. Well, the forecast was for some occasional pop-up showers, but this is coming down pretty good. You know, very similar to what we had yesterday, only maybe about an hour or two earlier on uh, on Labor Day, where... You know, it was just kind of cloudy mm -hmm. throughout much of the day, decent day, and then all of a sudden a fairly hard rain blew in. Pass dropped back here. Oh, and Endele was about to shoot that one. He got banged around a little bit. John O'Day stepping up. Endele getting that pass, knocked loose, but the Eagles get it right back. Hamlin, a leaping header. Matzel trying to get to it, and now it comes to Lindsay. Matzel looking back to Lindsay and right back. And just broken up. Boy, they really had things rolling there a little bit. Picked up again by Lindsay. Lamar had really battling there. Oh, he had three defenders on him. Nice step up by Vettel. Now Lamar gaining control. Endele trying a little back pass there. You can see the Eagles' confidence right now. Obviously, when you got this kind of lead, you can kind of, you know, just put the throttle down right. and, and play offense. <clears throat> so we will have a corner kick up coming here for Totino Grace. First corner of the second half for either team. And looks like the rain has stopped. And delay putting it out front. Scheib gets a hand on it. He went down, but now they get another ball crossed up there. Laura was first to it. Then a second try blocked by Arell. And then another opportunity and <laughs> Scheib just got a piece of that. It will be a corner kick as he... Got his right hand on that ball as it was ticketed toward the top of the net or the crossbar. It just had some mustard on it. Wow, look at this. Yeah, it cleared it. I don't think it would have gone in, but uh, don't take that chance. So to Tino Gris again with the corner kick. Out front it comes and popped high in the air. It was headed, but headed in the wrong direction. Armstrong trying to get something going. They, you know, at halftime we're down two nothing, and you know, showing little signs of life late in that first half. But uh, Grace has come, kind of picked up where they did, uh, where they left off earlier right. in that half, kind of controlling things. Yeah, they haven't slowed down on their offense at all. Scheib getting a long boot here. Oh, that was a nice boot. Let's and see. that was not wind aided. The wind has pretty much died down and actually was blowing, you know, against him anyway, I think there. 
Long throw in rolling down that sideline. And able to keep it in, but a nice aggressive step up there by Savard, and Eagles get it right back. Lindsay is going to let it fly and flies way over the net. We'll get a goal kick here for Armstrong as the Falcons bring in Kyle Moreau and also Abdelhali Aiden coming back in. He played a fair amount in that first half. Scheib getting ready to boot it away here. Another high kick. Vettel getting it to Yazbek. Nice battle there by Sess, but Eagles get it back briefly anyway. Lamar. And then now recovering is Matzel. He'll play it out to the left. Savard. Finding Endele. He and Sue Lohr do battle, and Endele ends up with it. Endele, and then it goes off his foot. It'll be a goal kick here for Armstrong. He almost had the defender beat there. And that's been his forte, as we've seen in this game so far. Rain has returned. <laughs> Smoke too soon? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't long. Uh, you were right. It had stopped, but uh, not for long. My fault. Back out, bounces around at midfield. We will get a throw. Tapped ahead toward Endele here. And the Eagles trying to win it back. And we have an injured player for Armstrong down on the field. believe it's Francesc Luke Armengal for the Falcons who is a little shaken up. He does get back up. <clears throat> See, center referee's going to draw out the ball. By the way, officials are Mark Weber, center referee. AR1 is Michelle Warren, and AR2 is Roger Taylor. We didn't mention that much in the first half because there weren't too many fouls called. Armstrong needs to get some possession here so they can try and get back on the match. Yeah, it isn't even just a matter of that they haven't scored, is that they just haven't had much time to, you know, really work anything offensively. They you'd probably get, you know, if the game ended now, you'd get to the end of the game and their forwards would probably feel like we'd hardly played a game even. It's been pretty one-sided. And Lamar wins it back here for Grace. Pushed it ahead and Scheib sliding out on Lamar. Good sportsmanship there to not uh, run through him. Just kind of hopped over. Battle for this ball, and the Eagles come up with it as Lindsay, and then it was knocked away there by Sess. He'll send it ahead. Taken by Eden for Armstrong. They try to get it back to him, but that one's intercepted. Well, they had some good pass moving for a bit. Throwing up the line there for Voto for... Armstrong, and then it's knocked out of play off of him. Nice catch there. Fight in the rain and running the camera and catching the ball there. I like it. We'll get a throw here for Totino Grace. About 25 minutes to go. Second half. This one not really in doubt, at least right now. Totino Grace dominating and leading it by a score of 3 to nothing as we play through some rain here. Played to the right side here and sliding out hard was Vettel to break that one up. Controlled now by Kyle Moreau for Armstrong. 
Pass back, though, knocked away as Endele coming back to meet it. Boy, Endele, as skilled as he is offensively, he's been back, you know, he's he's been responsible at the defensive end, too. He's made some plays where he's, you know, forced some turnovers, and he's covering ground like he should be. But that makes, that's what makes him an effective player. He can... He can uh vary his his uh, position on the field and come back play defense. Laura will take the throw here for Armstrong, one of the few times in this half that they've had the ball in Grace's end of the field even. Endele trying to bring it forward there and ultimately foul called by on Michael Arell of Armstrong, so free kick here for Totino Grace. Eagles gonna be headed to Elk River on Thursday and then at Blaine on Saturday. So a couple road games after this one and then for Armstrong, they uh, host Coon Rapids Thursday and then they play Adenoka on Saturday as a three game week for a lot of the teams in the conference. Odo playing it ahead now, looking for Aden. Stepping to the middle, and Ajamong tapped it forward. I think we were offside anyway there, looks like, yep. So one of the few times that Armstrong's been able to put a couple things together there, but ultimately they were gonna be offside anyhow on that one. Bettle's gonna hammer it long. Moreau trying to get through the defender here. And we will get a throw for Totino Grace. Referee ducking out of the way. Armstrong moving it now. Yeah, they've been able to put a, you know, a couple passes together in succession here a little bit. Vettel playing it up the line, but then intercepted again. Armstrong, I'd like to see them still working. Obviously, that's first thing you want to see if you're the coach. Then you know, no, no time to hang your head. You gotta, you fall behind, just work that much harder to try and get something going. Hanlon will clear it out of play, realize that there was a possibility of that being dangerous if he had uh, coughed it up. Vance looking to switch fields there. And that one's gonna go all the way through everyone, looks like. So a throw for Armstrong. Eagles quickly get it right back, but then the throw is a little too far. Arell is first to it here for Armstrong. Eagles wanted a handball call, don't get it, but they keep possession. Chipped out front, trying to go to Vance. Now Endele coming up with it here for the Eagles. He has a goal and an assist today, now finds Vance. Vance putting it out front. Shy but diving wow. block. <laughs> that, you don't see that very often where you dive to block a pass, but he was worried that that one was gonna be uh, you know, an easy redirect and just comes lunging out, punches it. it was, I don't think it happened exactly the way he was hoping either there. He just made a headlong dive and ends up being a corner kick. Actually not a bad, bad play when you consider Vance in the first half. He'd been peppering these guys with his cross passes. And Scheib will get to that one as they wanted to line up the header there on the far post, or the uh, long post here near, near side as we look at it on camera here. Now to Aden for Armstrong, but unable to get through. Lindsay plays it up the line nicely for Vance. Vance dropping it back to Lindsay. And that's a nice step in and take away there by Safo for Armstrong. And Armstrong gets the throw in on the possession. Ajaman's pass mm -hmm. and might have had an illegal throw it looks like. The flag went up. It went, yeah, right after the throw and referee Weber was pointing back to where the throw initiated.
So a throw in by Hagen, who scored that first goal of the night for Tatino. Put out front and oh, a goal. Another one. As, I'm sorry, not a goal. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think that was near miss here instead as you get a look at the cross by Lamar. Oh, okay. The ball had rolled over the end line before yeah. the pass. I was gonna say I, I didn't think I saw it that wrong that it hit the inside of the net, but it right. was it was ruled out just as he was passing. Right. So that's the reason it's a goal kick and not a goal. Yeah. Still a great set play. Yeah, the ball, just as Lamar was about to pass it, rolled over the end line. It's an opportunity for Armstrong. Odo dropping it back. Aden crossing it, looking to go to Moreau. And getting there to knock it out of play there was uh, Sabard, but it'll be a throw in for Armstrong as they try and push forward. And now the you know the, the thing becomes let's just, let's at least get one let's get yes. on the board and yeah. then you know see what happens from there but obviously trying to come back from this big deficit would be a tall order but the only way you could get started is to you, you know, got, make something happen get one all right you got to make I have to get the first one in and they're getting some movement now Ajumang sending that one all the way to the other side will it have enough to roll out well just barely. And it's going to be Armstrong's throw. That ball really died in the wet grass. And they were hoping, the Eagles were hoping it was just going to roll out, and it didn't. Step in and take away a bit of the result in a corner as Hagen jumped in to knock that ball free, but leaves Armstrong's Arell with a corner kick here as they try and get uh, something on the board. As we said here, after being dominated, trailing at 3 nothing. Bounces all the way off a Falcon and Endele. Goes sprawling as he tried to bring it forward and then the Falcons get it. Armstrong drives it right back in again. Nice step up there and then the shot was deflected and let's see, this is gonna be a corner I believe, yep. yeah. Looked like Ronza maybe could have gotten to that ball, but he kind of pulled back. I don't know if he wasn't sure if it was going to be a corner. You don't want to take any chances when the field's wet, too. So he just kind of watched it go, and it'll result in a corner. Abel Voto for Armstrong. Ball pops free and then knocked out of there by Jaeger. And a handball call there as it bounced up into Krieger's hand. And Armstrong will get a free kick. This is what Armstrong needed, getting getting a few breaks here. Yeah, it hits his, uh, actually hit the elbow. Vance playing it ahead. Hanlon gets there and knocks it out. It'll be a throw for Totino, but a substitution coming in as Jacob White will report in for TG. And Hagen will Throw it in here for Totino Grace. Pounded out of there by Hanlon. A strong header there by Bettel back the other way. Hanlon looking for Ajumang. It bounces too high for him to get control of. Lore knocks it out of play. A throw coming here for Totino Grace. And Endele will drop it back now for Savard and all the way back to Vettel. Vettel sending it far over to Vance. Yeah, he was just parked over there waiting for it. Oh, that's, that's not consistent with what we've seen from Vance. That one kind of skied a little bit. Trying to go to Krieger and instead it got a little bit over his head. So goal kick here for Armstrong. Bennett Scheib drills this one. Didn't get quite as much of it as he has on some of them. Falcons ultimately wind up with it. Michael Orell trying to send it ahead, but pretty well read there and intercepted by Hagen. But he's quickly doubled. Ajumang trying to force a turnover. But he got help, though, from Luke Lindsay. 
Endele coming back to meet it. Drags it over now to Jacob White, getting him an early touch after coming in. Nice ball onto the foot of Vance, and then wanted to go to Endele, and Scheib calls his defender off to grab it up. Falcons trying to win that ball back, but instead it winds up with White and over to Liam Vance. Nice ball ahead, but it got off the thigh of Matzel. We'll have a throw, though, for Grace. Endele will give it back here to Vance. Looking to switch fields. Maybe didn't hit it quite how he wanted, but he <laughs> ultimately gets over there to Savard. That would definitely switch the field. Yeah. Krieger looking for some space. Endele crosses that ball. Vance was cutting into the middle more than he was expecting. I think he was looking for him far post. And tough ball to thread in there. Anyway, it'll be a throw for Armstrong. You know, every time Endele gets the ball, it's exciting because he has such great foot movement and no fear about moving forward. Yeah, there are a lot of times when, you know, from up here it looks like there really isn't much space, and then somehow he gets oh. through, and again, <laughs> he almost did right there. Dropping it back. Vance will give it back to Endele. It took three guys to slow down Endele. Endele going to pop one in, trying to go short side with it, and Scheib on one hop able to scoop it up. Moreau's pass broken up. It'll be a throw, though, for Armstrong as it goes out of play. Morell sending it ahead, but Vettel breaks it up for the Eagles. And now Endele with a little space to work with. Endele coming up that left side and I think wanted to pull the ball back to his right foot. And it just got away from him as the defender got pressure on him. Back for Arrell. Nice quick move to the middle, looking to add in there, and he goes down. He was tripped up on the play Free by kick, Lindsay. Free kick here, Armstrong. Arrell put it right back into play, and then the header will go into the Falcons bench. Yes. Clearly a foul. Throw in for Harms here for Armstrong. And headed right back out of play by Hagen. Another throw for the Falcons. Moving the ball up the field. And one more time, it'll go out. We'll do, do it all over again. Back pass here, Ajumang trying to get space. And he turns and lets it rip too high. You can kind of sense that he's you know, a little frustrated, he wanted to get a shot away there and probably really didn't have much there for himself, but wanted to take, you know, an opportunity to try and get a shot away. That just a little bit too much adrenaline on that one. So Vettel will take the free kick here for the Eagles. Nice kick. Matzel sending it ahead. Here's the race, and Scheib will get there as Vance peels off and runs by. And Scheib putting that one out of play. He's had probably a couple more than he'd like of those where he's, you know, basically giving it away by booting it out. Yes, it gets it out of, you know, you're in the field, but... But still, <laughs> not what you want to do. So now we get a re reverse. We'll go the other way with the, with the throw-ins. Arms triggering it in. A header there from Vodou. Ajumang, nice control there and steps between a couple of defenders. Well, still has it. Ran into his own his own teammates. That is what slowed him down. Then we get a reach in. It'll be a foul against the Eagles. Free kick coming here for Armstrong as we've ticked under 10 minutes to play. Tatino Grace led 2-0 at halftime, and they have the only goal so far the second half. Arell launching one just over the top of the net. It'll be a goal kick here for 
The Eagles, Philip Ronza has not had much work, to say the least, in goal for the Eagles. Now he's seen uh, two shots on goal in the entire match. Header here will come over toward Vance. Knocked free by Hanlon. Here comes Arell on the move. Arell speeding up the right side now. Trying to get it to Ajamong, but the defender gets there. Nice control to Oops. clear that one away and good work there by the Eagles and Luke Lindsay. Yeah, Lindsay came back from his midfield position to cover that one. Chipped ahead, it's a hitter out of play by O'Day. A throw here for Armstrong. It'll be Cole Harms triggering it in, gets it onto the foot of Ajimong, and now over to Aden. And he rolls a shot without too much steam on it. It'll scooped up there by Philip Ronza, the junior goalkeeper for Totino Grace. Booting it long here, the race is on. Clearing attempt blocked, and then the Harms has to knock it out, so a throw here for Grace. Nice job by the yeah. All Boys and Girls tonight. They've been right on it. They're, we've not had much time at all wasted on you know, ch tracking balls down. They're getting it right to the player who's going to throw it in. No Vance with the throw. Down in the corner. Tried to make a tackle there. Not much room to work with. They give it out for Vance now. Vance, who's stronger with the left foot, but he gets away a good right foot across that time. Didn't quite connect, but Savard runs it down. Savard ripping one. That one went off the football goal pole, so out of play and a goal kick here for Armstrong. Shia began with the, sh the goal kick. Tino you know, Grace looking to stay unbeaten. They've only had two games so far. As we said, Armstrong has had four. Armstrong came in three and one, but one and one in conference play. So the uh, Falcons finding out tonight that they've still got a, maybe a little way to go to, to match up with the very top teams in the uh, conference, which Dottino Grace figures to at least be in the mix, I would think, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Talking with Coach Vance before the game, and he was saying, it, you know, the conference, really interesting this year. There's uh, quite a few teams that are, you know, relatively evenly matched, and you, to right now say who the favorite is in the conference would be kind of tough to say. There's a lot of teams that should be at least uh, contending. which I guess has generally been the case in the Northwest Suburban too. Rolled up hard up the left side. Eagles trying to generate another chance here. Here's the shot and Scheib the save. And then the rebound comes out. Gavin Jepson who came in for the Eagles getting away an attempt there. Here's another opportunity and Scheib has to range to his right and make the stop. So he has been uh, sticking with it and sharp down the stretch here for Armstrong. Another nice high punt. Ajaman coming up with it. And both players go down and here comes Vettel. Vettel battling through. A foul call with advantage. Vettel battling Safo now. Vettel joining the offense, putting it back. And just knocked away. And then when Scheib was going to maybe try and scoop it up, Safo just banged it out of there. There you look at uh, Jaeger coming back into the lineup here for Totino Grace. Also Fernandez, number six. So here is Fernandez handling it here for the Eagles. Nice fake there, and now trying to drop that pass back, but broken up. And the Falcons coming back hard the other way. Aden, 
looking over to Moreau. Good pressure, Gavin. Win it, Gavin. And that back pass is lost. Eagles briefly had it. We'll get a throw here for Tatino Grace. Ball bouncing away there, but Lindsay got it back and then hammered on out of there. O'Day playing it for Brandon Colas. Fernandez almost split between two defenders. Quick double team there, and they try and free it up. Bounces loose, and Scheib comes out off his line to grab that one. Long, booming kick by Scheib, and now Ajmang trying to get control. Leaving it for Vodou there. Vodou dropping it back to Sess. Nice little move there between a couple of defenders. Plays it back for Voodoo. To the outside here, Ada. Trying to cross that ball there, but intercepted by Jaeger. And Krieger dropping it back, and they go up the left side, but Lohr read it. Jepson getting control. Crosses it there, Hamlin knocking it down, and he will just have to clear it out of play. We get a throw coming for Totino Grace. Under three minutes to go now, still three to nothing Eagles. A reminder to watch for the girls match as well on CCX Sports. Those teams both kind of struggling a little bit on the girls' side as they enter this 2017 season. Get a foul call here against Armstrong, so a free kick coming up for Totino Grace. Free kick here, Shy made a dive for it. I don't goal think he got a piece of it. It'll just be a goal kick. Subs for Armstrong in. Henry Lara, number 21, and also 14, Justin Harding reporting in for the Falcons. So the Eagles resting some of their players. Endale is on the bench, relaxing. And we said three games this week for, you know, they're going Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for both teams. So another reason to, you know, work in get some uh, fresh players in there, give you guys, you know, you pretty much have the game won if you're Grace and get your uh, other guys some experience and also give the uh, some of the starters some rest as well. Free kick here for Armstrong. It'd still like to at least break the deadlock and get uh, get something on the board, but Easier said than done sometimes. Here's a shot, but that one had got under a little too much, and Ronza just calmly watched it sail by. So a goal kick coming here for Totino Grace as we are under a minute left here. And so Totino Grace showing us some great ball control, possession time, a lot of individual skill. Show. Good team play. They got uh, pretty good measure of what they what they have and where they where they can move forward. As you said, probably one of the expected uh, top rated teams in the conference. Hamlin will knock that one out of play. Yeah, there was a lot to like about them. Their midfield yep. and also Endelay. I mean, that's that's. That's worth the price of admission yeah. just to watch that. And You're going to see them do a, do well, I think. And like uh, Coach Van said, you know, how they develop in the back line will be what kind of tells the tale for them. But they were pretty dominant here tonight. So after leading 2 nothing at halftime, Grace gets the only goal of the second half. And they win it by a score of 3 to nothing to move to 3-0 and on this season. As we said, both teams have some more action coming up on Thursday and on Saturday for Grace. That means at Elk River and at Blaine. 
for Armstrong. They are hosting Coon Rapids Thursday and then at Anoka on Saturday. We hope you've enjoyed this boys telecast year for Sig Ligery and all of our crew. I'm Jay Wilcox. Your final in the boys game, Totino Grace 3, Armstrong 0.